Hey makers, this is Yana with Makis. Today I'm going to show you how to create stickers, specifically QR stickers. You can use them in many creative ways, even on your bakery boxes. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more helpful tutorials for making cake toppers. Also, be sure to get your freebies from the link below. Okay, well, let's get started. So here we are in Canva. This is where we're going to create our QR stickers. To get started, you're going to go right here on the right, create a design. And let's create a custom size. And we'll do inches. Let's create small stickers that are 2 by 2 inches. Click Create New. Here we have our canvas that we can use to create our design. On the left hand side you see some templates that they are showing you and there are other features right here. But I want to show you first if you go scroll down to more and you can find this icon right here that says QR code. Go ahead and click it. So the QR code is you can set any website where you want this QR code to go. You can send it to your website, you can send it to your reviews page, to a video, a special promotion, anything you like. So I'm just going to put my website for example. Here we have it automatically created the QR code that is going to be used by, by anybody who clicks it with their phone. So we can resize it. You go, you can take and you, may, you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. I wanted to have it this size so it's the main thing on the sticker. Since our stickers are pretty small, there are two inches. And let's add some text. So you can go on the left hand side select the text tool or you can just hit T on your keyboard. Here we have the text. Let's place it right here. And let's say thank you for your purchase. Okay, this is just an example. Of course, you should take some time to make it more creative. Maybe add some of your colors. If you want to change the background color of the sticker, just hit the background and you're going to have this icon pop up. And you can choose any color you like or right here. Because I have Canva Pro, I was able to set my colors for my brand. You can see the little icon with the because this is a pro account but in either case if you don't have a pro account you can choose the colors whatever you like you can set a background color okay you can even choose some elements let's go ahead and choose something let's see a cake and you can select it to be static so you could narrow down the search and you can have some options here let's maybe take this cupcake I'm gonna make it smaller and you again you can change the color not at all of these elements but you can change the color of this cupcake you see right here this pink, we can make it any other color, maybe a little bit darker to stand out. And here we have our QR code sticker design. And now let's go ahead and save it so we can take it to Cricut and I'll show you how to create the stickers in Cricut. So to save it, go ahead and download and save it as PNG and it's already been suggested right here so let's go ahead and hit download now here we are in Cricut Design Space 
First, what I'm going to do is going to hit upload. And I'm going to find my sticker that I just created. I dragged it over. And now you're going to see your upload selection is asking you if you want simple, moderate, or complex. Since we're, this is a print and cut sticker, we're going to go ahead and hit complex. Hit continue. We don't need to do any editing, just let's hit continue. Hit this one that says print then cut and hit upload. So here we are, we have our sticker uploaded. Let's go ahead and click it. Hit insert images and we have it here. For some reason, the new update for Cricut Design Space has been increasing all the uploaded images. So let's go ahead and make sure that you set it to two inches the way we designed it. And now what I want to show you is to make it easier for us to, to do the sticker sheet with the print and cut, what you want to do is select templates, find your basic canvas, and let's select the size area as custom. So right here, let's unlock and let's set the print and cut area, which is 9.25 by 6.75. And you have to click it within this area to take effect. Okay, so now we have our area. We know exactly how many um, how much we can fit into into this print area. Let's take our sticker and place it over here and probably we can fit three more. So let's go to duplicate and do a few duplicates here. I'm going to take one and then we're going to select all then go to align, align top and then let's do align distribute horizontally. So we can set uh, four stickers across. So let's go ahead and do um, attach. And then we're going to take and we're going to duplicate this probably two more times. So let's do one, two. And again, I'm going to drag this whole row to the bottom. Then we're going to select all again. I'm going to go align. Now let's do align left and align distribute vertically. As you can see, we have spaces between stickers, so that's pretty good. If we want, we, we can move it a little bit more down. So I'm going to do, again, select all. Let's do align distribute vertically. Now we have more even spacing between each row. So now that we have them all selected and um, arranged, all you have to do is hit make it. As you can see, this is the way we align the stickers on our preview and this is how the, the Cricut will cut them out. So first what's going to happen is you will print this on your home printer and then you will go ahead and insert this print sheet into your Cricut machine. So the machine will read this black line, the border line, so it knows where to cut the sticker exactly. Go ahead and click continue. It will print it out, then insert it back into the Cricut machine and then hit cut. So this is how you create stickers and you're going to have a QR code so you can choose any website that you like and direct your customers to your website to leave a review or just check out new specials or follow you on Instagram, whatever you like. If you have any questions, please go ahead and join our Facebook group at Marcus Makers Club on Facebook and I'll, we'll help you out over there. I'll talk to you soon.